point C, negative 5 and 4, is reflected over the x-axis. What are the coordinates of C prime? So here we're talking about the x-axis. And when we talk about the x-axis, we have to change the sign of the y-axis. So the opposite. Positive 4 is going to be negative 4, so overall it's going to be negative 5 and negative 4. Reflect, we have 6 and negative 3 over the line x-axis. Again, when we're talking about the x-axis, we're going to change the sign of the y-axis. So negative 3 is going to be positive 3, so 6 and 3. You don't have to write the positive sign. What would be the coordinate of point K if it was reflected over the y-axis? So... Here we have k. It says being reflected over the y-axis, which means between the y-axis. So what we want to do is count the points from the other side of the graph. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to locate at 5 and negative 2. Wait, here is it. Reflect 6 and negative 3 over the line x-axis. Again, when we're talking about the x-axis, we're going to change the y-axis. So negative 3 is going to be 3, so it's going to be 6 and negative 3. What is the algebraic notation for this reflection? So we have those two that's being ac across over the x-axis so is it x and y turn to negative x and y or we have x y turn to y and negative and x x y to negative y and x or x y x turn to x and negative y so the algebra notation for this reflection is because it's being reflected over the x-axis the y-axis is going to be negative so x and negative y because when we see those two graphs they're between the y-axis so they're being across over the x-axis again when we see the x-axis we want to change the sign of the y-axis so x and y is going to turn to x and y is going to turn to x and negative y This image is being reflected across the, again, when we say across the, we mean between. So these images are being reflected between the y-axis, the vertical axis. We have QRS contains the point Q, which is 4 and 2, R, which is 5 and 1, S, which is 3 and 7. If the triangle is reflected across the y-axis, what will S prime be? So we're going to take a look at S. S is 3 and 7. And it says here it's going to be across the y-axis. Again, when we talk about the y-axis, we're going to change the sign of the x-axis. So positive 3 is going to be negative 3 and 7. What is the algebraic notation for this reflection? So again, we have those two reflections. They're being across over the y-axis because it's between the y-axis. So when we say it's being across over the y-axis, we want to change the sign of the x-axis. So x and y, the x-axis is x. So positive x is going to be negative x and y. So a negative x and y. Reflect point C over the y-axis. So we have this point C, we want to reflect it 
over the y-axis. So again, we're going to count the points. We have one, two, three, four, five. So from the other side, one, two, three, four, and five. It's going to locate at negative five and four. Oh, it's, oh, it says C here. I'm sorry. We also have to be careful because it said here C. Sometimes it gives you specific points for you to count. So we're going to go from C. So we're going to count one, two, three. And then from the other side, one, two, three. It's going to locate at negative three and two. So we have negative three and two. Is the reflection shown a reflection over the x accessory minus axis? So we have points. We have g is negative 7 and negative q is reflected to g prime, negative 7, and q. So again, the sign that's been changed here is y. So if the sign of the y is changed, it's being reflected over the x. So it's always the opposite. It's being reflected over the x-axis. This is the reflection rule over the, we have x and y is being reflected to negative x and y. The sign that's been changed here is negative x. So if x is sign is changed, it's being reflected over the y-axis here. So we have reflecting over the y-axis changes the x-coordinate, y-axis, x-axis, or y-coordinate. It's definitely the x-coordinate because when you're reflecting over the y-axis, the only thing that changes is the x-coordinate. What axis is this reflecting reflection is describing? So we have a figure in quadrant I is reflected into quadrant IV. So if a figure in quadrant I is being reflected into quadrant IV. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's the x-axis because when it's figure, it's going to change the x-axis. QRS contains the points. We have Q4 and 2, R5 and 1, S, we have 3 and 7. If the triangle is reflected across the y-axis, what will S prime be? So we have S prime, we have, it's 3 and 7. So it says here y-axis. So if we're talking about the y-axis, we have to change the sign of the x-axis. So positive 3 is going to be negative 3, and overall is going to be negative 3 and 7. What is this transformation? We have x and y being reflected to negative x and y. So again, is it reflects over the x-axis? slides down one, reflects over the y-axis, or slide down left, slide left one. So here, the sign that's been changed is the x-axis. So if x-axis signs is changed, it's being reflected over the y-axis. The reflection of J negative 1 and 11 is j prime negative 1 and negative 11. What's the reflection of d 5 and negative 5 when reflected over the same axis of reflection? So we're going to take a look at the first example. It says negative 1 and 11 um, was been reflected to negative 1 and negative 11. So the sign that's been changed here was y-axis. And if y-axis sign is being changed, it's being across over the x-axis. So in here we're going to change the um, the y-axis because it's being reflected over the x-axis. 
so we want to change the opposite sign so negative 5 is going to be positive 5 so 5 and 5 so we have this is the reflection rule over the so we have x and y being reflected to x and negative y so the opposite the sign that's been changed here is the y so if y's sign has been changed it's being reflected over the x axis always the opposite where will a prime b at if triangle ABC is reflected by X and Y was being reflected to negative X and Y. So the opposite that's been changed here is um, X, so it's going to be Y. So we're going to take a look at A and then we'll see where the point is going to be. So A is only one point away. So it's here. One node's here. So it's at the negative one and two. This ordered pair shows a reflection across these. So we have three and 14 was being reflected to 3 and negative 14, the sign that's been changed here is the y-axis. And again, if we're talking about the sign of y-axis, it's being reflected over the x-axis. So, Reflect the point, we have 2 and negative 4 over the y-axis. So again, it says here the y-axis. And if it's being reflected over the y-axis, we have to change the sign of the x-axis. So positive 2 is going to be negative 2. And overall, negative 2 and negative 4. Reflect to the point, we have 2 and negative 4 over the y-axis. Again, we're talking about the y-axis. So the sign of the x-axis is going to change. Positive 2 is going to be negative 2, so overall negative 2 and negative 4. We are all done. We got 100%.